Where are we? Yeah, wait, let me back it up. All right, all right. All right, the Bible says that uh, when uh, Noah's doing his ark deal, that the uh, water from the uh, ground burst open. It was from underground. It says it had, had flood water from below the ground and flood water from below the ground. So I thought I'd look at the idea of bursting water, the Bible says, from the ground. So we're going to use this balloon and see if we can burst it, get an idea of what it might have happened on, on land. Be right back. I gotta go turn on the water. So I'm guessing this is like water building up under the dirt. Oh! And we're gonna see if we can get this water to burst. Imagine a city or some houses, somebody's field on top of this here. And the Bible says that it bursts from underneath as well as from above. So we're gonna see if we can get some water bursting and pretend that our house is underneath this dude or above this dude here. A lot of water. It's gonna be a big burst. Oh. oh! That's probably what it's supposed to like what it was like. Alright, this is take two. We're gonna try it again. We got a balloon. Water. Remember we said it in the Bible in the book of Genesis, it says water came from burst open from under. So we're going to try to get one more shot at this. This is the effects of our last landmass. Again, remember Genesis says that the water burst from underneath. So that means we had cities and land in the days of Noah. There might have been some farms, and this water came up. And you can see the destruction of what it might do based on what it does on here. Remember, water came from the sky above and from underneath the land surface there. Get pretty big! Oh! That was a good one! Water from under the earth, bursting forth.